so this just happened. Sliced my thumb open. Gonna have to go get stitches. I can see the fatty tissue. I sliced it on uh, that. Oh, I need to clean that. Not the knife right there. I sliced it on that little thing. Just went right by it. So I'm going to take myself to the ER now. take x-rays to make sure there was no glass in there. I'm like, there's no glass in there. And then he, I don't know what else he said, but that's what the doctor wanted. I have cut my finger before, my pinky, this one. And it's healed nicely, but I never had to have x-rays for that, so. Ew, gross. It's like it just slides on the fat. Nasty. Is that grossing anybody out? It's not really grossing me out. Um, if she doesn't do the numbing correctly, we're gonna have a problem. Cause I've actually had staples in my head before also from a picture frame and that killed when they put the needle in there to numb me up oh my gosh it was like fire so when I cut my pinky I told the doctor I was like look I'm not looking forward to the needle going in to numb me up and he's like I have a little special trick and I'm going to suggest this to her if she does not do it he just took some of the um stuff in the needle and dripped it along my pinky in the wound and waited for a little bit and then let that numb up and then stuck the needle in which totally totally helped because sticking a needle in an already open wound so um oh it hurts i did ask how long you can wait to get stitches and that doctor said anywhere from like 6 to 12 hours if I remember correctly and then I asked how would one know when to use super glue and he said when you can cleanly put the edges together so like with this having the fatty tissue exposed you would not want to put any super glue in there because it's just not going to heal well and then he said that he's had people where he's had a like they use super glue and then he had to cut it out and then stitch it together so don't do that To numb the wound, to put the stitches in, she... I'm trying to record. She gave me what is called a digital block. 
she numbed my whole thumb. Awesome. She stuck the needle in the base of my thumb where that, that blood was poking out, poking out, whatever, um, and just numbed the crap out of my thumb. And like I could feel all of the liquid just going in there and it was just like swelling up. It was so weird, but it was great. Ah, oh, I mean, it didn't feel good getting it numbed, but it was great to have the whole thumb numbed up because she scrubbed the heck out of it. Where did I park? I had to park like way over because of course this is the city and there's no parking nearby and then there's a parking garage you got to pay for parking five dollars forget that no nerve damage got a clean bill of health from the docs so we're getting these stitches removed Just waiting on the corpsman uh, to come and remove my stitches. I don't know what the rank of a corpsman is. It's probably a E4 or below, I'm guessing. I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe it's an officer. But David Drew, I'm sure, knows. I really should learn the Navy rank since I work on a joint base. Okay. Sorry, I'm just imagining you, like, uh, swearing or something. No, <laughs> I don't swear, actually. Okay. I keep it clean. Okay. I mean, I do, like, freak and fetch and, mm -hmm. but... Have you ever had stitches taken out before? Yes. Okay. These look pretty good. Is there anywhere you want me to start? Top, like, top, Wherever bottom? you would like. Okay. You're the man. Okay. Some people get weirded out because I use a scalpel, but we have these suture removal kits and like the hook to try to get under there is gigantic. Oh my gosh. So, That's what happened to me last time. I had stitches in my pinky and they were yeah. digging and digging yeah. and digging under there. So the scalpel blade is just much finer mm -hmm. and the, the fine point. So it's, I feel like it's a lot uh, easier to take yes. stitches out with Thank these. Thank you. So what is a corpsman? What rank is that? Corpsman is a general term for medical person in the Navy, enlisted medical person in the Navy. Oh, okay. My rank is HN3. It's an E4. Oh. It's an NCO. I guessed it. I thought maybe it was an E4 or below. Oh my gosh, this feels so much better. I was like, I'm just going to take these out myself. Which really, I probably could have, huh? Yeah, these are pretty big. Sometimes the hand stuff is like really small and it's like, mm. I don't really see the, so like these, you can see the strings on each side up over the knot. A lot of times you can't see it and I just do it by feel. Yeah, that looks gnarly. Looks like Frankenstein, kind of, sort of. Is that just gonna seal up there? Yep, okay. sure. So I'm gonna put on these stereo strips. So these will just come fall off in a few days. Just kind of like a little Band-Aid. They're made to be Warren, you can shower with them, everything else, just don't scrub them. So that just kind of like holds the edges of your skin together for like another day or two. Yes. Um, but so, like I said, you can wash it and everything, just don't like scrub at it. Right. And it'll still fall off. Oh, I never days. scrub my hands anyway. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say anything about that. <laughs> just uh, kidding. That's awesome. I have a health fair video you might want to watch about that. Um, okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. So that lasted for about 2.5 seconds. Yeah. Since I've become quite good at cutting my fingers, I found some really useful bandages at Rite Aid. There's a finger gauze that's much easier to put on than wrapping your finger in gauze. The cots are good for when you're in the shower and the finger sleeves are helpful for when you no longer need a splint but still do need some support. These are some larger bandages for big wounds. And this is my thumb five weeks later. I think it's healed very nicely. Thank you for watching.